another, another tweet, D- W-E-N-O-T-N-O. Um, I've just re- retweeted this uh, a YouTube video from, well, it's about uh, Simon Nelson. It's an interview, oh, I can't see exactly. I'll, f- I'll find out exactly who it's, who it's from, but it's, a, it's, about, it's, about, it's a recent interview with Simon Nelson who used to be CEO of FutureLearn and he will be speaking as part of the Digital Universities Conference in Exeter next week and I think that's very interesting because the the MOOC scene had had mixed mixed reviews let's say from uh, UK academics um, and there's still this this question, which I'm not so sure about, what what is meant by a digital university or an online university. Um, I, I think some of the people at the conference may may be mostly interested in what digital can do without changing the model very much of what what a campus university is. I don't I don't know, but that's one of the things I'd like to like to find out a bit more about. Um, but Clearly, FutureLearn, and I think Coursera are also involved in the promotion of the event, is a different different sort of approach, but may, maybe it fits in together. I think Coursera are going to be talking about supporting early, early courses, um, courses that lead into other other courses. So the, that, 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 that might, might be an, an interesting way of, way of looking at it. Um, I think maybe this is a good good time just to mention a bit more about the learning technologies event um, because Coursera are definitely going to be there um, if you go in there K, K45 is, is the stand but also Open edX and that's, that's very interesting that's um, a project from MIT and Harvard there used to be edX as an independent operation, MOOC, MOOC operation, but it's now part of two, two, two U. And the the whole history of this it get gets um, well. I think it's I think it's fascinating. I know I'm rambling on and repeating things that have been said before, but um, at one point during the lockdown, when moving online seemed uh, quite normal. Um, edX was valued at eight hundred million dollars. Um, MIT and Harvard uh, sold it to t- to U, but now um, two U is w- worth a lot less than that number, and people aren't quite sure what's going on. Um, Coursera seems 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 to be doing okay because they've got um, a lot of AI courses and links with um, Amazon and Google and other other people. IBM, I think. I'm not, not exactly sure, but the, the, this is the sort of thing to check out. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll try and find out more about Coursera at, at the Learning Technology Show and also, also what, what comes across in Exeter as to what, the, what they're doing. Um, but the thing is, if... If um, Harvard and MIT have got 800 million to spend on extra research, which they're making available, how you do a a MOOC or whatever might be similar or uh, however else it's described, um, Open edX, that's that's worth a visit. Um, Udemy is there, K10, um, and... Also, um, TechSmith, who are a video, um, online online video, no, I'm not sure it is, no, so it's not online video, AI, that's the word I'm using for, they've updated their video um, last year, at the end of last year, and it's a AI enhanced, and that is, um, is relevant for... Uh, discussion going back to bet because um, 
I mostly think of these two shows together, Learning Technologies and Better. They're both, they're both at Excel. They're quite, quite far apart in time this, this year, but often they're within a few weeks of each other. And I think a lot of things have changed since Bet, in that Adobe don't seem to have established clearly that their AI approach to video is the main way to go. Um, there seem to be other people who are coming at it from an AI point of view who can create a bit of video very, very easily. Um, they may not even be creative designer trained people to start with. Um, so that's quite that's quite interesting. Ser Serif Affinity were there at BET and they were quite strong on sticking with the designers and so their their design software hadn't ch hadn't changed that much. You could recognise it as um, what it was the year before or a couple of years before or what, but, dare I say it, what Adobe were doing before they put the emphasis on um, AI online. The, the, uh, Adobe is definitely online with, with their most recent software, what they were showing at BET. But I, w I will be interested to see what, what TechSmith were doing and what anybody else is doing because there will be conversations around it I guess or anybody in, in Exeter might might have a guess about this um, without a doubt a video of some sort is part of the social media scene and as I said I'm not, I'm not stats obsessed person but I do have to notice um, well for example the, the bus stop uh as I said, most most of the most of the short videos I've done in this last week were on the campus, but I did one um, for the bus stop that is near Waitrose, because that that area near St Luke's, I, I don't think it will be part of the the discussion next week, because they tend to stay on the one campus. But um, I'm I'm interested in that bus stop as part of the traffic experiments that I'm not going to go into more detail till after the local elections but it's 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 representative of that place and um, it's had about twice as many views as any of the other ones and it hasn't got the um, THE Digital UK hash sign supporting it so um, anyway what, what, I'm, what I'm really saying is that the, the the, the videos are quite quite relevant and um, how we how we get into the training the skills and the technology we, we will we will come back to it 